Hello gamers, Bat here. Welcome back to another episode of Vintage Story. As you can see, I've got this finally polished out behind us. And uh, I've had to move everything kind of like over a block. And I, because uh, I did want that path to be there. So we had to cut it down to this small, which turned that one to be that small so that we can continue the pattern here. But we finally have the path. Uh, from the kitchen area out here over in this direction. We had three uh, Rx spawn in here. Two of them are bulls, but they kept getting in my way and hitting me, so I got rid of them. And uh, over here I was thinking maybe we would do like a furnace area for our, um, our little clay ovens. And then over here would be where we're going to stockpile all of our uh, wood and our peat. Uh, our firewood. So if I take some of that, so we'll have it all back here of firewood in these sections here. And then of course we'll do pea in these sections here. Some of it might come out to here because I do want to make some kind of like a little guard, maybe maybe out to left out right here. Um and then what I also did was dig straight up from about right here is into the sluice room. And uh, we have this extra space back here that I wasn't doing anything with. So I figured if we got this firewood to go all the way up, this would lead into our blacksmith area. And if we ever needed um, wood just to start up our crucibles and stuff, um, we'll, we'll do that design here and we'll, we'll move the stairs somewhere else and uh, so that'll come up to here. We'll knock this wall out so that we can reach it behind it and uh, take a little bit of wood and it'll just go up to here. I, I was thinking to go all the way up but we might as well as keep the little platform that we do have here so I thought that would be pretty cool. Um, th I'm waiting on a, say I had to move everything back, but I'm waiting on a, a drift, uh, what is it called? A rift, um, a temporal storm, um, cause I want to go exploring a little bit and, uh, I'm afraid we're going to get caught up in that while we're out and about. And, uh, so I was hoping to maybe just do a few, uh, little odds and ends around here um, and then take care of the storm and we can head off so I'm hoping uh, it's December 2nd maybe within five days that's actually still a while I think I, I have no idea but what I'm gonna do is put all of this in here let's take care of the firewood first and then whatever else. Looks like we can grab it all with our big old backpacks. So let's get this all the way up there. Until it can't no more. Just wondering, maybe if we did pee on this side because I do like to use pee more. It doesn't give me a lot of room to do firewood here though. Like half pea, half wood. So maybe we'll do pea on the outsides and wood inside. I don't know, guys. But I would like some pea going up there too. Oh, we did want some of that there. So let's keep doing the firewood. That's all the way up. Gonna be starving here in just a second. I think I have food. Okay, and that's everything of that. 
And this, uh, this will get moved up one level so that I can cover it up. Um, and it's going to be the, um, these axle in, in bricks, but we're going to do, um, it in the, this brick instead. Keys pressed. All right. I hear a traitor. I okay, am starving. That's okay. Oh, I did have a mill on me. There we go. Take that, buddy. Alright, that's gonna look kind of funny having wooden key. Maybe not. At least we're keeping it kind of symmetrical, though. I got a whole bunch of pieces still on me. Hey, look, 419 mortar left. That is my birthday gift, by the way, guys. Um, that's why the channel name has Fat Tech 419 If nobody knew, which I don't think anybody knows that, because I don't think I've said it. Let's leave these pieces down here, because these are part of the tunnel. Um, I kept these just in case if we needed to cover up an axle in granite. We already have those pieces here. So, um, I'm not sure what little stuff we're going to get done today. Just from killing those two Aurochs. Alrighty. I still have more here. Alright, let me... I guess I don't have to. Sheesh. And I have no room for any more of these. And I'm starting to run out of food. In three years. But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll get a, a little HUD going on. Put these guys in here. There we go. The big old pot over there. We'll put this one over here. There we go. I like that that uh, saucepan even has a, a little lid to it. It's kind of neat. I like that a lot. I wish I would have uh, done the fires differently, like if you go at an angle and do it differently, that these uh, would show up in different patterns, because so they're all kind of pretty symmetrical. Nothing to worry about. Oh, I did chisel these little dudes to hang lanterns from. I'm not sure I really like these two colors together. This is Chert and Kimberlite, and uh, well, welcome to Christmas. But. Uh, we can just take a copy, and uh, I've done it for like a lot of these little corners, so it is pretty lit, looking pretty good. Except for the stairs, the stairs look seem pretty dark. I don't, I don't know why, but we just done some uh, little storage and stuff back here. Got a little toy, and a uh, lot candles and bony soil. I was looking for that earlier. I was bored. I was gonna go panning. Alright, well, let's get some little projects done. I want to do the charcoal pit, for sure. We got to redo all of this and uh, push this back a little bit. Uh, a little bit. I've already done this, this hallway here, um, so it is symmetrical and, uh, and it is even. I did all of these five, so instead of six that it was, it is now five. And, uh, we just gotta push this tunnel and that texture, um, just one level. That's pretty much all it needs to go. And I will catch you guys in a bit. That out. 
Alright guys, got everything kind of pushed back a little bit, put into place, uh, missing some blocks, so there's some that are missing, like these aged granite bricks will go right there, right here as well. Um, I'll go grab some more, but uh, this is where I'll put the uh, layer of glass, is in this inside. And then, um, let's see, that'll be a corner there. Here. It's not a perfect square or anything, but the max we can go is 11 by 11, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 5. Yep, 7 by 5. Which is plenty of charcoal, especially if we'll have a mimic of this over there as well. And uh, I do believe I can go up a little bit here. So we'll go up uh, about as high as I can get to until it's the bottom layer. This will get decorated and opened up here a little bit as well. Which we could do a little bit here. There we go, just open this guy up a bit is here to stay. We'll uh, push that back a little bit more as well. So we can put stairs here when I get to them, I guess. Um, still waiting on this temporal storm to get here. Let's go grab um, a block here. What would I like? Probably these that are supposed to be a wall here, so these won't actually look pretty good. Did have to make a uh, new pick, and we're already taking a dent out of it. Okay, right, so we'll put glass right on top of that. We'll put a stone in here so that when I'm shoveling the charcoal, um, I won't just dig right through the floor or anything. Let's go grab what glass we do have. And I'm going to keep it just regular glass. Sorry for all that lag. We cannot... I don't think we can use... We're gonna do a test here, but we also need to make some glass, which really, really sucks. Let's get, get something going, because I have a ton of it. I think there's some leftover somewhere as well. Sorry about that guys, I did have to sneeze. So we've got eight. Let's take half of that and do that, and then we have another eight. Uh, let's start from here. It's not a chimney yet, so I'm not really worried about it. There we go. And uh, we could probably make a few, but this should uh, get us going pretty good. Let's grab enough. Let's put that away. Let's drop some of this down. I won't make you guys sit through and wait for all this. This 20 glass is not going to uh, to cut it. So I will get that going and I will see you guys. Yeah, we're running out, so we need to get another pit going. Some 1200. Oh, that one's. I thought black. One of, the, one of them was 1300, but I think that's charcoal. So let's just use this. I think it's uh I think it should be good enough, right? 1350. This is 1100. And I don't know how much it heats it up from there. Oh, it won't even let me use it. I need charcoal. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit when I've got some charcoal as well. Um 
I'm just gonna make a, uh, a small one, and I'm actually going to try and see if I can make it out of, of pains. So I'm just gonna do a little section here. And what I'm gonna do, I'll show you guys here. Let's get rid of that light. I'm gonna do this, and this, and this. Let's see if this will work. I'm gonna put one there so I can get... a fire in here. So let's do it. One more level. Put that there, and then I'll put some wood in there, and uh, we'll see if this uh, actually makes charcoal for us. I need a stack. This four. And a piece of grass. I don't think I can get up there. So let's break this first. There we go. Let's change that out here. It says charcoal pit. So if I can make this out of glass... Well maybe we should do these corners. Full glass or blocks? I'm not sure yet, guys. So let's try. I don't have any blocks, but let's do it with this one then. And gosh dang it! Let's see what that looks like. So I do, I do like that better. And if we can make this out of uh, glass, I like that it shows this border instead of uh, just being right up against it. Because I technically I don't think we need blocks in the corner at all. But uh, we should get this lit, yeah? I seen it there for a second, I think I can do it for you. Alright, I'll have to double cover it really quick. It says charcoal pit, so... So, 28 points. I'm gonna leave that just like that. And uh, we're gonna see if that works. And I will catch you guys when it's done. Bat out. Alright guys, welcome back. I do believe, I think this is pretty good. Um, we still got smoke up, coming up from the top and it hasn't burned itself out. So overall, I think we can fill this pit in eventually when we have all the logs. But uh, this is what I've gotten done so far. And uh, we'll have a mimic of it exactly over here. I ran out of granite cobblestone out of all things. Um, so I'll have to make some. Um, but here's our floor with the slate rock, and then I think I'm just going to keep it this big. Like, I think this is plenty, especially if we have two of them. I think it might be a little overkill, so. Um, but yeah, we'll have two of those, and I think that'll be uh, pretty cool as soon as you come down from... Uh, I, uh, I've been chiseling while I've been waiting as well. So, uh, as you can come down, you'll uh, get the same effect here as you do with this little thing right here. So hopefully I did that pretty well. Um, when you come down, it actually looks pretty good. Like, that actually looks legit. So I'm actually really, uh, really proud of that. So we can bring some of this back for sure. And, uh, overall, this place is looking pretty good, guys. I'm, uh, pleased with uh, going underground, so it's not too bad. These still don't match up very nicely, I'm not sure yet. Um, 
we'll figure it out. But the bottom one looks okay. Like, because it comes out right here. And then we just have this little piece that's a, uh, a corner. I named one of these arch corner. So I could tell the difference um, of where they were. So, but yeah, we just uh, have a few more things to kind of polish up here. But, uh, so like these, these will go in the background here. And we're just going to do it all the way up. And then we're going to add stairs in here. I think I can only get one side, but let's do one side and see how that looks. I assume it will look good. We'll uh, figure out what to do here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's just do that for now. That's all I've got. We're gonna have to go room forging some more, but uh, overall, not too bad. I uh, really like that. quiet. It's been very quiet. As I speak way too early, man. Hear that guy burn- or uh, it's not burning. It sounds like he's burning, but he's not. He's uh, he's, uh getting hurt by the rose bushes. Raspberry bushes? Yeah, those things. Alright, so that's that. I want to see about getting these guys, the um, kiln. I don't like it here. Or maybe I keep it here. I wanted to move it there for our ovens, but I already did all that work because I was going to keep this and then decided that uh, I actually want to take it out and make a tunnel here. I am going to slate the bottom of this to match the rest of the kitchen. And then, yeah, I think what we'll do is just slate this. Maybe just to there, and then we can do a border of that. So let's get some of these back. These are chiseled. The ones I just placed are not. What we'll do is we'll just keep that just like that. And uh, I want these back. I got more hiding over here. All the moving around have had to do with things. Does that mean there's a block behind that? I do think there is. So let's take that one too. Mm. Hey, yeah, guys. I hear ya. We'll cover that up. And then we'll do... I, is that going to be too much? Let's try it. Uh, oh, I'm out. Let's use these. They're pretty dang similar. Too dark in that corner, or... Should we brick that? I don't have any to test with. Let me go see how much more we've got up here, because I know I'm running pretty low. Yeah, let's take that. We can use that. I wonder if I should use slabs just to save. So I only had enough charcoal for one of those. So we're waiting for that little tester to show. And I did a little bit of chisel work. Um, just some plaster stuff just to cover up uh, the blocks behind here. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And then let's see about. So I have the mortar on me. And we've got these right here. Let's see how many we can make. Oof, four enough. One, two, three, and four. So if we do do that 
we should probably do this as well. Or actually, I think what we're wanting is this line to be right here. Sorry guys. We want that line right there. Because then I can put it here instead. Should have made slabs like I said I was going to. Dang it. Because, yeah, I think that'll look a lot better. But I don't think I can get my stuff back from here. Oh, hey, they're spawning somewhere. Probably uh, in the uh, tower itself. Because the top still is not done. Yeah, I didn't leave any doors open. There is still an access right here. Yep. Hello, buddy. Yeah, you can let that rock hit yourself. Alright, guys. I think what I'm gonna do is... Maybe call this an episode? Uh, I'm very sorry that it's a little short. And we didn't really do much. Um, but the progress is coming. Need a door up there as well. I really like this tower. Turned out really nice. Easy to get up and down. And um, yeah, I haven't really been doing much in the world. I was going to stream an episode yesterday and then I decided to stream the Arapiri Mystic Wind server instead. But the plan is... Uh, I'm just waiting for a temporal storm to happen so that... Uh, so we can go out adventuring and not have to worry about it because I just have that feeling it is really, really soon. Um, and I don't want to be gone while that happens. So, next episode, I will just wait out until we are completely um, over the storm. Um, I will just keep the game running, play for a little bit, uh, tidy up some things, maybe go rune forging. That's probably like the most boring thing to watch somebody do, is to tear shit down. So, Unless it's with like TNT or something, then that's pretty fun to demolish like that, but uh, it's coming along. We need to go looting, that's why I want to go adventure. Um, we need more of these and I don't want to make them, because the only ones we can make is the brass. And I don't have any brass down here, I don't think. I've replaced the ones that were brass. And uh, should all be aged down here, just to keep a theme pretty good. And we don't have any over here. I've got just these. So I am hoping that uh, maybe this just isn't bright enough. Definitely. These should be just a tiny bit brighter, I think. Uh, get a torch holder. Put one there. And I think that will do it. This area. Because I think everywhere else is good. I thought that was a uh, little drifter. Overall, not too bad, guys. Oh, here's that block I placed on next to me. Alright, and then I'll, I'm gonna change these out. We'll, we'll figure out a different color for that. We gotta figure out something to do with that, that lighting glitch. I think if you chisel it, it helps somewhere along the lines. I don't know, I'm just chiseling everything. That was when I renamed the thing. Just put it on that. Nope, that lighting glitch is just here forever. I've done every block around it. You guys are loud. Alright, so next episode, we're going adventuring, guys. I will have a clean inventory ready for you guys. And uh, I want to get adventuring just a little bit before winter. 
I think we have until, I don't know, I want to say the middle of the month. Well, our real month, so maybe the 13th of December. Maybe the 10th. It'll be winter time, and I'm not ready for those long winter days, because um, we do have them pretty high. And we have our days. And uh, the winter is going to be pretty rough, guys. It's going to be a long one. So I'm hoping here is pretty centralized and uh, it won't get too cold, but we can still work around here. If not, we're going to go... Actually, we will go teleporting. Uh, but we'll uh, During the winter, we'll just go activate all the teleporters that we have uh, found and come across so far and see where they take us. Because uh, up here easily, we have 30. So that's pretty good. Uh, that's at least 15. Because they'll take two. That's like 15 translocators that we can go through. So, um, other plans? I'm not sure yet. The armory might go. Um, I would really love to have these vaulted ceilings like this side. Um, because I want to get every wood type. And in order to do that, I need that entire back wall as well. Um, because my idea here is I'm going to have chandeliers up here. Hi, Crazy Lakes. Um, I'm going to have... Oh, I do already have one. And this is going to be really bright. I was looking for those candles. Let's go grab those. That's why I was looking for it, because I wanted to put candles in there. And we have six here. Hello, cow. <laughs> Your head poking out of the block. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what this is for. And I wanted to be able to see all of the uh, doors up here so that when... See how bright that gets. I think we could fit three more in there already. That is pretty bright up there. And uh, I want one of these chandeliers at each pillar. I, I hope anyways. And that'll bright up all of these pretty good. And uh, we'll have a good nice uh, color palette going on here. So um, of each wood as well, in front I want to put the wood type here as well, just so that we have that full color when uh, it's done. And uh, it's a shame about these doors as well, I might make them go vertical this way because I want both of them here. Because some of these doors make really cool designs, uh, I, I want to say specifically the redwood. Um, it has a, uh, let me show you here, it has like a, a blank space here, so which also makes this a blank space, and then a blank space here, which uh, it's like the yellowish cream color instead of the red, and it just makes a really nice design. I want to say it's walnut, Walmart, walnut makes a nice door when they're also together, and it might be spruce. I don't think I can make a spruce door. Um, maybe it might be bare nut. No, it's not bare nut. But anyways, it makes this cool little swirl here at the end, and when they're both together, it looks like a Celtic knot. Um, joining them two is what I was trying to get at and show you so we'll find out what door that is eventually but uh, yeah so I want this to be all ground storage stuff and also like I want to come in here and play around some templates and so I've already got the wood types down here I can grab some uh, some say chert or something and place it next to some blocks and see, uh, see what good pallets we've got and uh, We'll have to put the armory in our new build that uh, we still need to get to, so I'm very sorry that we haven't really um, gotten to our our actual build here, but we've done a lot. Uh, we got a good template going, but the top part, some of it, I want to be certain wood, and that wood I don't know. We might actually use bear nut as well, and uh, still need to figure out this floor. And uh, we'll put... Uh, 
Maybe we'll put the armory around these edges or something here in this cool, uh, cool room uh, that we're going to keep that coffin in. And uh, it always looks like these these uh, white flowers glow for some reason. It's very odd. Ooh, there's more candles here, huh? Let's take these for a second, because I want that fully lit. I think it takes nine. So this would be a perfect nine. Let's go see one more time. And uh, these lanterns, they do light up the area. Um, so I don't, yeah, I don't even have one on. But it does light up the area. The other one, I want to say does not, it did not have that little candle, candle lit part. Um, this one does not have a white spot here, so I'm not really sure. But I did put up some paintings. I don't know if you guys seen this after the railing got in. Yeah, just started putting up some uh, paintings around here just to place them down a little bit. But look at that deck. So this is age doors, and see how like when they come together, they have this pattern. This one almost almost looks like a bat. That's kind of funny. So you got the wings here, the body, another wing, and uh, the ears. I actually kind of like that. Could be a wolf, could be a bat, could be whatever. But, uh, oh, these um, candles, my brain, you guys, those guys will come bug me. But, uh, here we go. Okay, so it is eight. That's fully uh, lit. Ugh. And that brings a lot of light, so imagine that being over there a little bit more. And uh, two more up here. And then if we uh, take this out, then we'll have two more in there. So, and uh, we'll call it there for you guys. So I do appreciate you guys coming in every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe today and in the future. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bad out.